Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Robot Spirits or Robot Lamashi. And we have the anime version Full Armor Gundam. Got away from Thoughts of Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you're looking to get some. So here we go. Here are the box art. Now I do collect the anime line. Although I kind of sporadically review. <laughs> yeah, it just depends. On this one though, we are getting the effect parts as we can see here, which is great. And it's just one of those that kind of piqued my interest. Now the full armor Gundam design, I'm not a fan of it, just in terms of the color scheme. Yeah, I mean there is the perfect Gundam, even that uh, the color scheme is just... <laughs> yeah, it, it could have been better, but here we go. So this is the full armor Gundam. There we go, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so I just want to quickly go over this, since it's, it's a lot easier when everything is there. So, uh, we have the Gundam in the middle here, all the armor around him, yeah, lots of parts. Then uh, we have the accessories here. So on this one, seems like we're getting the same effect parts uh, from the original one. Now we have this curve here, we have the Vulcan's effect parts. Uh, but uh, with the addition of uh, we, we're getting uh, the effect parts for the rockets uh, on the shoulder, onto the knee, as well as a uh, non-deployed one as well. And uh, we have uh, like a... not quite sure th this is or what's the name for it, but this is for the, like, the cannon and the backpack. Uh, which we'll check out later. And it does have the thruster effect parts, which is great. So uh, it comes fully loaded. And it's nice that they've uh, included even effect parts. Um, I would think that they would just have all the full armor and call it a day because that's a lot of parts already. But it went all out on this one, which is good. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is the uh, Gundam for the Arc 78. Uh, I find the color scheme a bit odd. I've seen this in Transformer. Uh, forgot which one it is, but uh, you have that green and orange color scheme. Yeah, not, I like orange, just not with green. Eh? <laughs> I, find that, I find it a little odd. And uh, you have this kind of like off-white uh, or pretty much gray here. Yep. So, um, and also has a gold uh, for the eyes, which is nice. So just going over to collision, this is probably the same mold, but I just want to go over it again. You get the really good uh, neck articulation. You can look up, look side to side. Mine is a little bit stiff though. You got the V-fin here. It is only one. I wish they included a second one, although you have that uh, Vulcan effect part with its own V-fin. But still. Yeah, it would be great if it's you get a separate one just in case. Get your shoulder articulation here. This, uh, I believe, is uh, clipped in right there. Got a fairly good articulation there. Got your bicep uh, swivel. Got your double jointed elbow. You got your forearm uh, swivel there as well. And your wrist joint. And this is one of the great things about the anime line the articulation is a lot better. Just that it needs more details. Uh, but that's not anime line anymore. <laughs> Articulation, you can even wiggle it a little bit. Fairly good there. You can, then you got your front skirts right here. Uh, your side skirt as well, which is which are connected on the back side. Although the back side is fixed. Then you got those uh, kind of like hinges for the legs or the waist, which allows you to hinge forward. A bit on the back, to the side, and you got that that tie swivel right there. Then you got your knee bend, which is actually quite nice. It's double jointed, and I like how that that thing turns also to give you that extra. <laughs> and uh, you have your ankle articulation. So it is really nice in terms of articulation and you know after a while you kind of get used to the anime uh, design. It's not too bad. It's 
wish uh, they've uh, incorporated this with the newer or have more details on it. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much it for the Gundam. And uh, we can start adding accessories to it. Alright, so here we go. I kind of put on the initial accessories. I've already re uh, reviewed the first one, which has all of this. So I just want to quickly you know, go over it. Yep. Now, uh, be careful on these uh, effect parts here on the thrusters. Uh, they don't have a like a joint there, so it only goes one way and it's angled. So if you want it a certain, you gotta have to twist it around. And that uh, peg connection there is in a certain angle, so you make sure you're putting it in the right way. Yep, don't force it if it doesn't go. And now it's stuck. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it goes in like a 45 degree angle. Yeah, so be careful. And it can go here as well. So, that's good. Now, we have this effect part, which is for the back cannon. And some of you might think, well, can I put this here as well? Unfortunately, we cannot. It's not, the peg is not long enough. I think there is another option, uh, like an option set that you can buy for that. Or maybe another animated line. I can't remember who has that. It might have been the Charles Zaku, which uh, has that effect part. Yeah, so there we go. Also, I want to quickly touch up on this one. Uh, we're going to get another beam saber hilt, which is a little longer. And this effect part, which is quite nice. It gives you that uh, action pose where he's slashing. Now, on my old one, uh, or not old, but the first one I have, I stress this peg connection here. So, I would really recommend uh, to be very careful on this one. I mean, it kind of goes along with other uh, clearer effect parts, but as you attach this, you know, just be careful on it. And especially when you're moving this around or trying to put it on to the hand, I would recommend to put the hilt on the hand first before putting the effect part. Likewise, when you're removing it, just remove this first before you try to remove this from the hands. That way, you just prevent this from getting moved or stressed out. So, that's that. Alright, so time to armor him up, and uh, we have a lot of parts here, and I'll uh, just go over it. Um, I guess uh, there's really no order or no preference of which one you put on first, uh, aside from the ones on the legs here. But uh, why don't we just attach this. So it's, it's kind of like a sleeve for the shoulder, I'm just gonna put that on. Gives you a little bit of uh, extra details. Now also here on the back, you gotta rip off the beam saber hilts that way we can attach this and you can kind of see there's a bit of notch there or where you can put in this side of the backpack so you're just gonna line it up there we go and on to the front part we're gonna attach this there is some tabs on the back side and it should just uh, clip on there we go Although I had a little bit of a problem on this, I'm not sure if maybe, yeah, because we have a little gap there on the waist, but uh, just gonna make sure it slide in. There we go. And as you do this, be careful of the V fit. Yeah. All right. So uh, moving on, you have uh, this part here, which covers this. It kind of just clips on. There we go. Same thing on the back side. Well, you, you have this for the, I believe. Oh, I cannot even remove it. It opens this way. There we go. This is the connector for the bazooka. There's another separate gray piece that you can put on there. But uh, let's put this on here and just kind of match the tabs. And it should just slide in there. There we go. <laughs> Our next part is the forearms. And uh, to do that, you got to remove the hands. So we're just going to pop this out. And grab it. Now make sure you align the peg hole. 
and I put this back. Now, as you put this back on, you gotta make sure you're holding it uh, here on the elbows. Otherwise, if you hold it here, you have a tendency to push the whole forearm out. So uh, make sure you have a secure hold, and this wrist joint does tend to be a little tricky. Even then, yeah, just you gotta take your time and. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's that. Now there is an extra armor here. It's kind of like the shield. We're just gonna attach it here. Yeah, you gotta make sure that thing is aligned because it pegs all the way in. There's a little tab here. This is for the effect parts that uh, sold separately, like the blast effects. So that's it. One of those rectangular tabs. On the other side, do the same thing. Pop this out. Grab that, align it through there. There we go, and put this on. You may want to have the one for the with the trigger finger because uh, his right cannon, which is here, will be held there. Now this one, I don't think you can interchange to the left. You can probably uh, modify it, but uh, definitely it's on the right hand, just in case. I know some someone will want to have a double-sided cannon. I would want one as well, but not on this guy. Maybe if they mean an FAG girl. Oh, sorry, not an FAG. <laughs> AGP girl. There we go. Actually, do they have a full armor Gundam girl yet? I can't remember. So it. Yeah, there we go. So it's attached, then uh, make sure that thing's aligned. There's another tab that goes to the forearm, and there we go. Alright, we're moving along now to the legs. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, so I think we should put the ca uh, the calves first. So it just, just slides here and here. Like a, there's a tab on the back to sandwich together, um, and uh, let's see. Here we go. Looking for this piece here. Now this one has tabs that goes into that. Yeah, on each side, just tabs in. And then you got this extra booster here, right there. It's nice and square. <laughs> and uh, to put this on. Now this one, you have to remove this front part here, and this goes onto the joint on the knee, on each side. There we go. And you're gonna slide this in. Yep. I can't quite remember if you can do that first. I don't wish you just kind of just slide it in, but you don't want to stress the plastic. So make sure you take that out first. Put it on. There we go. Yeah, let's try it. Let's put that on first. Then uh, put the armor in. I guess it, yeah, it, it shouldn't matter. Except for this part here. Yeah, it does kind of matter. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, so uh, there we go. Snaps in and this part here. We're almost there. Last part is the sole. Alright, so for the sole, this goes here. And it actually breaks off the same way as the toe, which is good. Now there's a bit of a tab there. Slide it in and just gotta push it all the way till it kind of connects. But th that's really nice. They put in consideration for the articulation. Because I've seen other figures, when you put on the armor, that's it. It becomes a brick. So uh, this is quite nice. and. Um, Really hoping uh, they make uh, the NT1 Alex and to have the Chobab armor. That would be definitely an awesome uh, figure. I will definitely get that one. 
All right, so here we go. Articulation wise, it should still have uh, the neck here. Yep, same articulation. You got the same article on the shoulder. And I think for the most part, it retained it. Well, except for the torso here. You just got the waist now. Yeah, same with the legs, even here. And even the ankles. So you're getting the full articulation still. And like we said, the toe. Well, maybe not, <laughs> except for the back part here. But still, you get knee articulation, which is good. Now for the cannon here, as you lower this down, you make sure you clear that, uh, <laughs> yeah, the V-fin, otherwise, there it goes. So there's a cannon, you can lower it down, nice and simple. Now for the effect parts, uh, while we're at it, why don't we just attach the cannon effect right there. Like the, I guess, the no, uh, muzzle effect. Uh, I'm not too fond of this effect. It's too... It needs more color. <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, you have this. This is for the shoulder right here, which we're going to flip up. Now, this is the fun part because... As you flip this up, make sure you're, it's clear away from the V-fin. And uh, there we go. Yeah. I'm just trying to be extra careful there. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, I think this is, yeah, you can only put it on one side. So there we go. It's a separate piece. It'll be nice if it's already inside, but I think this is a lot better when you put it on separately. It, it looks uh, a lot cooler. It kind of pops out. Same thing with the knees. We're going to pop this out. It goes down, not up. At first, like I'm trying to pry it from the bottom. It does not work. I take it goes like this. Likewise, it only goes uh, to one side. Yeah, you cannot interchange them. Or can you? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, you can. For the bottom part, that is. The top on the shoulders, you can't. But this one seems like they have the same uh, orientation of that peg. And there you go. Now for the effect parts. Let's go ahead and uh, detach uh, this again. You got one for each, uh, let's see here, shoulder, and it kind of just rests in there, and it's only one angle. I don't think you can uh, adjust that. This one won't go in. There we go. So get the shoulder effect. Same thing here. Uh, let's pop this out. Such a weird effect. <laughs> and there you go. Now for this one, uh, I guess it's a beam effect. No, actually, you know what? They do have an effect just for that. So you're getting this. They are connected together at the, at the base here. And we're going to attach that. That is the effect for this. you got to be careful though. It's two pegs. Very small pegs. That's good enough. Alright. So, there we go. I mean, you could put the Vulcans also if you want to have all the effects. But that's be a little ridiculous. Let's put this on here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, um, this is uh, quite nice. I, I like it a lot, especially the armor. Um, once you put it on, it still retain, uh, for the most part, articulation. And it is just a great figure. 
having all these uh, effect parts. So, uh, quite nice. I mean, it's a bit ridiculous. I actually kind of like this. It kind of becomes like a dual beam saver. Although, I don't think that's the <laughs> effect for that. But yeah, nonetheless, it looks great. Yep, let's just uh, pop out this effect box here. Yeah, probably just tilt the head there. Also, I've realized that you can pop this out. You can probably pop in the regular R78 there. And something tells me you can probably use the R78 uh, body and put it on here. And do a mix and match. But yeah, really nice figure. I highly recommend getting this. And can't wait for the next RE, uh, not RE, sorry, <laughs> animation line. I think uh, we're getting GOG. I think that's one of the new ones. And I think that one comes with a fact part as well. And some gimmicks. And that's about it. If you got questions, uh, let me know. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching.